I think today we're going to do some paint correction. Just hook up the little battery here. Get to hear how good this cold start is. I decided to keep the factory 72 bumper for my restoration project and set about making one for this car out of a 74 and later a big bumper. End up cutting it down with a grinder, uh, putting it in a vise and rolling the bottom and tried to make it look as much like a 72 as I could. Uh, anybody who knows the cars can tell right away it's not correct, but it doesn't look bad. I spent quite a bit of time trying to sand off the old spray paint. I was making progress, but it really just wasn't cutting it. I decided I had to do something more. Here's what the car looked like. I took some glamour shots of it. And, you know, I kind of like the ratty look, but it just never was going to sell for any kind of money like that. Okay, I think it's time to do some body work on this thing. Which means we are going to try to pull this tail panel out what we can do about this really badly rippled quarter panel. You can close the door gap up up here. Let me pop the trunk. sucking in that tail light is. It's hard to tell with the lighting, but you can see the big ripple in there. And the bono holes, I'd say somebody punched and tried pulling on it with a slide hammer. And it just rolled the metal over on itself in there. It's not going to be perfect, but I want the trunk to shut better because it just rains water right in it. From a distance, it doesn't look bad, but it could definitely look better. Okay, here's the first attempt. Got a block with a bolt through it. Stuck through a taillight housing. Sketchily chained to an inverted drop hitch. Now we pulled this out quite a bit. It's actually almost even with the other taillight right now. The problem is, we got all this folded metal over here, which is gonna make it really tough. And the back bumper is rolled up because it buckled the top of the mount right there. So I'm gonna keep pulling and uh, I'm gonna start tapping with some tension and see what happens. Ran down to Real King and got a can of Safety Blue Rust-Oleum and a can of gold. I taped off and sprayed the front fenders after some scuffing and it wasn't a perfect match, but it looked a heck of a lot better than mismatched panels. It actually turned out looking pretty slick. This was the end result. I kind of wish I had done the whole car, but it just really wasn't feasible at the time. 
I suck at filming, but we made some progress on the old car. Somebody's actually coming to look at it tomorrow. I used some Rust-Oleum paint from Real King and made the front end match because if you remember before the hood was orange and the fenders were filler. Just took some really wide masking tape that was not right for the job. Spent hours in the middle of the night taping it off to make the stripes look right. And then I, once it dried, I scuffed it down to make it try to fade into it. Doing some last minute body work in the back. See if I can't make this line up a little bit better. Runs and drives down the road pretty good. It's not perfect, but if it doesn't sell, I'll keep working on it. I'm not too worried about it. Here's a little progress update. Start pulling at an angle. As I noticed, the gap was real big between the deck lid and the quarter. Now that I pulled it that way, let's see if we can get an idea here. It's a lot better. It was real big back here. It's pretty close. I've been working with a body hammer and dolly. I'm no body man, but I'm getting the crease out. It was creased all the way up there. Holding sideways. And it's getting better. Alright, now I'm using my homemade side hammer. Just made a handle and a rod. Got my little attachment here. Actually, I guess you could call it a stud gun. Because instead of doing what they did and screwing holes into it, I'm just placing that there and using the welder. Putting the clamp, actually clamping it on here and then wire welding the tip to the low spots and pulling it out. Just went to the grinder and ground down the end so it'll fit right down in this little crease here. I'm going to tack it and work my way down that. It's working because it's a lot less prominent than what it was. But my trunk gap is right. I'll show you. Of having a huge gap on the side we have a nice straight one still left up back here but this one's not too bad so good after a skim coat of filler this was the final result uh, ended up looking pretty good i think considering what we started out with a couple weeks earlier uh, new owners came and picked it up the next day. I uh, ended up selling it for $3,900. I bought it for $300, put tires on it, a carburetor, and a little bit of time. Not bad. Not only did I make a profit off the car, but I also got to keep all the extra parts to help put my car together. The windshield was something I needed really bad. This car came with a spare windshield, which has $500 on its own right there. Uh, extra back glass, whole AC dash, whole AC system, correct front bumper, turn signals, seats uh, it was well worth it extra rear end even so i came out ahead on this uh, after purchasing tires and a battery to put back into my car since i put those into this car you know i was looking at probably three thousand dollars profit off this if i don't count my time and i got to put something back on the road and you know really enjoy it at the same time and so it was it was a win all the way around